So Yu Jae Suk, the man with a smile as wide as the Han River, finds himself neck deep in controversy. Can't we just leave the cringeworthy comments to the amateur comedians? The guy hosts a plethora of shows and suddenly has decided to add racial sensitivity expert to his resume. Who knew making a living out of humor could land you in a pool of hot water instead of laughter? Picture this. You're a beloved national treasure, the uncle figure everyone adores, and then, bam, you drop a comment so racially charged it could power a small city. You slips up like someone trying to dance on a banana peel, and now everyone and their dog have a take on his clumsy delivery. You know it's bad when even your grandma has an opinion on your joke. Let's not forget our good old pal context, a concept as slippery as an eel in a race. Everyone now is itching to grab their pitchforks and torches. I mean, sure, laugh at your own jokes, but maybe leave the commentary on race to folks who stroll through the halls of academia rather than stand-up stages. Or at least use a better filter next time. Huh, you? And isn't it rich? We're in an era where everyone's looking for viral fame, from TikTok dances to cringeworthy challenges. Yet are you decided to jump on the racism bandwagon? Who knew this was his secret recipe for publicity? Well, congratulations, you. You've officially broken the internet for all the wrong reasons. Somebody get this guy a racially sensitive handbook. Oh, and let's talk about the people defending him. It was just a joke. Uh-huh, sure, because we all know that's the universal get out of jail free card when your mouth becomes a liability. Come on now. Jokes should tickle the funny bone, not jam it with awkward racial undertones. However, let's just applaud everyone who's suddenly a social justice warrior when it's someone else in the crosshairs. This entire saga has turned into a masterclass in how not to handle a heated controversy. You could have turned things around by pulling an epic apology like, oops, my bad, I'll consult a committee on humor next time. But no, let's just tread through this minefield like toddler in a candy store. How about a little sensitivity training, my comedian friend? You might just find it as eye-opening as a sunrise after a 5 a.m. wake-up call. So here's the million dollar question, folks. Are we going to give UJ Suck a chance to waltz back into our hearts or is he dancing himself off the stage for good? After all, comedy's all about timing and right now his timing seems to be as off as a clock stuck on midnight. What do you think? Should we forgive and forget or are his jokes forever going to haunt us like that one awkward family reunion? Like and subscribe, please.